Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for August 5th, 2014. It's currently 7.15 a.m. in the morning, of course. And temperatures this morning are averaging pretty much near normal for this time of year. We have uh, temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior and mid-60s along the coast. We even have a few upper 60s mixed in there along the immediate coast as well. For the most part, we're dealing with some fog, not really all that dense, to be honest with you. It will start to lift by about 10 a.m. Otherwise, scattered cloud cover can be expected throughout the day with a southwesterly wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour and temperatures warming up into the mid to upper 80s. Today is the warmest day of this entire 15-day, that's right, 15-day period as we are going to be entering into another rather cool weather pattern for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. As far as the threat for any rainfall for today, uh, we're pretty much going to be high and dry for today. All the showers and thunderstorms are focused over the Great Lakes and out over the Atlantic, which means we are in an area of dry conditions, and we can expect that through the afternoon and into tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, these showers and thunderstorms will be moving through tomorrow, with the threat for some significant impact for your evening rush hour tomorrow afternoon and evening as those thunderstorms move through. On the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see, first of all, our boundary off of the east coast here, right over the New Jersey coastal waters. This separates some truly tropical air here. This is a type of air mass where you have temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s with a dew point around 72. It's sticky, humid, disgusting out. Over us, well, we're warm, definitely, mid to upper 80s, not anything that's record-breaking in any way, shape, or form. The increase in humidity will make temperatures feel like the upper 80s to lower 90s, uh, but again, it's August after all, so this is pretty much near normal for what you should expect. High pressure will shift off into the Atlantic via New England. And so as a result, we'll see winds from the southwest increase to about 10 to 15 miles per hour by this evening. And here's our cold front that's stationary right now. It's waiting for one more strong disturbance that's currently over the northern plains. And once that moves towards the Great Lakes, it'll kickstart this cold front and drive it right through the region with the threat for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Meanwhile, we do have a tropical storm. Yes, that's Bertha. Bertha has weakened. It is down to 65 miles per hour, which makes a tropical storm. It was a hurricane. It has a pressure up to 1,005 millibars. It's rapidly moving to the north-northeast at 22 miles per hour, and is starting to become entrained in the trough that is basically locked in over the eastern United States, and this very strong jet streak that is set up off of the mid-Atlantic coast. Now, here is where the center of Bertha is. And you can see the thunderstorms trying to reform, but they keep on getting blown off to the northeast because of that strong southwesterly shear. Bertha will eventually become entrained and will not be a threat. We can see that very clearly under water vapor satellite picture. Here's what's left of Bertha. And in fact, here, let me show you this. Here's the upper level winds, perfect. So you can see the upper level winds just picking up Bertha and sending it right into the North Atlantic and not having an impact on our neck of the woods except for the fact that we're going to see a more enhanced high latitude blocking scheme over the Northern Atlantic, which could lead to some interesting weather for this weekend, let's say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time period, which I'll show in just a moment. So here comes our strong disturbance with our cold front. This will kickstart this cold front to the east. And basically what's happened is that this jet streak and this stationary front with this weak tropical system stalled out our cold front initially, which gave us another 24 hours of warming, which leads to a rather humid date for today. Once this cold front moves through, we're in a nice, cool, crisp polar air mass that is setting up right around here. That will basically give us some beautiful weather for the end of the week, and at least through the first half of the weekend. Now let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State EWOL website. I'm going to use the European model guidance for today. And again, for today, today's the warmest day of the forecast period with that southwesterly wind and that cold front off to the west. Temperatures today will warm up into the mid to upper 80s. They'll feel like the lower 90s with the humidity. 
The cold front moves through tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms. These thunderstorms are going to be capable of heavy downpours, frequent lightning, small hail, and wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. For the most part, I expect thunderstorms to remain below severe levels. Can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm, but even this SPC is basically advertising very, very little activity in terms of severe weather. So I'm really not expecting all that much in that respect. And the reason why is that all the forcing and lifting mechanisms are really focused towards the St. Lawrence River Valley, well to the north of us. So really, the cold front's going to be kind of weak as it's moving through. Temperatures for tomorrow range from the lower to mid 60s for lows, mid to upper 80s for highs. Most locations, I think, will be around 85 degrees for a high on for tomorrow afternoon. As you head towards the coast, look more like for 83. I think that 87 is more for, for like, let's say, Philadelphia or Newark, where you have those urban areas ahead of those thunderstorms. Once that cold front moves through, then we end up in some very comfortable weather. High pressure is in control for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, here's where it gets interesting. For this entire period, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, tranquil, cool, comfortable weather. Temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows. Upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. Mid 80s in your urban locations. Then we have this disturbance on Sunday. It's going to kind of meander around over the southeast coastal waters. Spawn this surface low pressure system. And then, now notice where the high pressure system is and where the slow pressure system is. And remember that Bertha will start to enhance the Northern Atlantic blocking scheme. So what you end up with is this upper level low kind of meandering out here over the Atlantic with this wave of low pressure. Now for right now I have conditions remaining dry, but some model guidance has a little bit better chance for precipitation on Sunday and Monday. For now I'm going with an easterly wind, scattered cloud cover, could be a little bit raw, but I'm going with dry conditions as I think this is going to remain suppressed to the south Temperatures will range from the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows, upper 70s to lower 80s for highs throughout the entire region. If this low pressure system is a little bit closer to the coast, then we could be seeing out some wet weather for Sunday afternoon on through Monday and temperatures a bit cooler, more like the mid to upper 70s. So it's something to definitely keep an eye on. And then beyond that point, well, look, I've been saying on Twitter for some time, if anyone's expecting a heat wave in the middle of August, Someone show me why the pattern would change. And as you can see here, for the most part, we've remained with a trough in the east, ridge in the west. I know that there's an upper level low in the Gulf of Alaska, but there's an even stronger upper level low in trough around the Aleutian Islands. And that's what's basically going to be driving this pattern in keeping us in a relatively cool weather pattern for the eastern United States. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. We'll have another forecast discussion tonight around 9 p.m. As always, have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.